Zeke, go start the dozer. Thank you, sir. Hey, folks, we're going to do a couple fun things here. One is this Ants trailer, Advanced Nimble trailer system or something. It's a weird setup. It's a weird trailer. We had one of these last year as a demo uh, to promote or get exposure for these things. We're going to load some soil out on this thing here tonight. It's brand new. It's barely been used. It's some dirt from my held some scrap metal here for the boys as part of the dirt bike fund. Uh, but now we're going to load this thing out with some soil to export off this place to give us some more room. So we're going to load it out. Here we go. Okay, so anyways, this trailer, it's a live bottom trailer. It's a really weird concept, um, but it's cool. But it's a live bottom trailer. And what that means is it, it, it it's a conveyor belt. So it's really cool. Let's go that. We'll turn our power on here. Uh, make sure... Our fuel is on, so we hauled it back from Kentucky. Uh, fuel is on. Um, there we go, we'll choke it. Well, that's a fuel shut off, is what it is. Um, bed out. Whoops, we gotta turn this on. Look at that, it's pretty wild. So what we're gonna do is since we're in line with the, the building there because that truck stopped me, we're gonna do this where we pull straight up. We're gonna dump the soil in here and then uh, and then with the remote, move this around as we need to. So then we'll go dump it at the house. So here we go, this is gonna be cool. Well, just cause we can, we're gonna run over this old junky wheelbarrow with a um, dozer. Because we can. We're going to run this wheelbarrow over with the dozer. You, you're oh. going to watch from here, or you're going to be on the dozer. Wait, can we watch it? Yeah, it'll be better view from here. Okay, here we go. That's what that looks like. Yeah. So that's loaded up. You saw how that gets moved around. That's pretty cool. So we'll pull this tarp over this thing. You'll see this tarp is really cool. There's, there's a lot of things. This trailer's so weird, but there's a lot of things in this trailer that are really well thought out. So uh, 
that stuff's really awesome. So let's pull her up out of here. We always want to pull, turn on our towing mode, right? As I rip my transmission out. The, the tarp on this, which again, for you plant hauling folks, like this is really cool. A, you need to tarp your plants anytime you haul them or a messy load like this, right? This is pretty slick. I, I got armpit view here. I stuck the GoPro in my armpit, so. Um, but that's pretty slick. I should put something like that on my dump trailer. Uh, and then this part folds down, but you gotta have some bungees to hold it on there, so. That's that part there. But now we just crank this sucker down, get some good tension on it. Awesome. Missed most of that. That's quality, quality footage right there, folks. Here we are at Rancho Amano. We're gonna dump this load of uh, highly organic material. Uh, that's some kindling. We can save that for the kindling. Uh, we're gonna dump this uh, organic material here at the house from the shop. All right, Zeke, just just push it once. Just push the red button once. Okay, the lights on. Now push this button, which means to start. Okay, start the engine. All right. Now, um, Zeke, push bed out. O U T. Yep, go for it. What do you think of that, fellas? Nice. Oh, bad. Oh, big stop. All right, Zeke, go ahead. Battery, nothing must be dead. These lights aren't beeping. All right. Well, <laughs> screw the pooch there. Hold on. We can get the buggy up under there and fill buggies. So that'll be cool. I got so high, that's awesome. So now if you need, you can run machine. It actually goes down lower. I didn't chain that off, that'll teach me. These things on magnets are so smart. I don't love those hooks, they're real little. Nice, see? Look how crazy this is. They can, I don't have it actually mashed clear in the ground, but.
So if you're driving a skid steer in this, you would have a remote in hand, and as you get up in this thing, you bring it down, take some pressure off of that. Now, I don't know if they want you really hauling a skid steer in this thing. Okay, so that's that crazy trailer. Just in a nutshell, we'll do a whole overview of this thing and a review and some of my opinions on it. I think it's a good fit for some contractors, some I'm not. It's pretty wild though, so. Okay, there we go, folks, that's it. My thing is always, how, how do I like get past this? I mean, obviously from everything you guys said, surrounding yourself with, with people, with positive people and small wins, but also how being reflective and maybe what did I maybe contribute to get me in this point? If nothing that was controllable, well, what can I do to help, you know, when I get out of this to, to be stronger and better so that I, I don't have all of these headaches and stresses and maybe tweak things in my business? Because I find I've, I've found the most out about myself and my business in those tough times. And I make changes immediately and just reset the mechanism, you know, the, the next, as soon as possible, if not the next season.